merchants and uh, shareholders value uh, this is question number 16 from the book Bentley corporations and Rolls manufacturing are considering a merger the possible states of the economy and each company's values in that states are shown here suppose uh, we have two kind of states expected for these bonds one is boom and other is recession there is 70% chance of boom and 30% chance of recession uh, if there is a boom Bentley will have uh, $290,000 value while Rawls will have $260,000 value. In recession, Bentley will have uh, $110,000 value while Rawls will have $80,000 value. Bentley currently has a bond issue outstanding with a face value of $125,000. Rawls is an all equity fund. Requirement A. What is the value of each company before the merger? So let's calculate the value of each company before the merger. So first Bentley We will take the probability of Bentley and multiply it with the respective value and add with probability of recession multiplied with the value in recession Similarly, for roles, zero point seventy multiplied with two sixty thousand plus zero point three multiplied with eighty thousand. dollars so these are values of both firms before the merger let's see the requirement B what are the values of each company's debt and equity before the merger so we know th that the roles is in all equity firm so this firm has no debt therefore roles equity will be equal to its total value which we have calculated in part a that is two hundred and six thousand dollars the tricky part is to calculate the value of Bentley because it has a debt whose face value is one hundred and twenty five thousand therefore we have to calculate the values of both debt and equity for example consider the boom situation first in the boom situation the Bentley has a total value of 
290,000. Suppose that is equal to total value minus equity, right? Or say it equity is equal to total value minus debt. Total value is 290,000 and debt is 125,000. So remaining will be One hundred and sixty five thousand. What about recession? In recession, the total value is one hundred and ten thousand which is less than the debt therefore this total uh, 110,000 will goes to lenders and lenders will be able to recover only 110,000 while the equity holders will not be able to recover anything therefore the value of debt is 110,000 and equity is zero. Now let's calculate the value of debt. Boom has probability of 0 0.7 and in the boom value of debt is 120 5000 plus the recession have probability of 0 0.3 and in recession the value of debt is 110000 from here we can calculate value of debt So the value of debt will be 12500. <coughs> In the same way, we can calculate value of equity. So in in boom the value of equity is 165,000 plus in recession the value of equity is zero so the value of equity will be 1155 double zero dollars now we can also calculate the value of equity by using another formula uh, which is value of equity is equal to value of firm minus debt value of firm uh, we have calculated the value of firm before that was 236,000 in the part 1 and value of debt is 120,500 And we will have the same answer, $115,500.
let's come to part C. Part C. If the company continues to operate separately, what are the total values of the company, total values of equity, and total value of debt? So for this purpose, we have to utilize the values calculated in Part A and B to calculate the total value of equity, debt, and overall value of the firm. We have calculated this separately for both firms in Part B. We know the value of the firm from part A, so we can just combine them in part C. So for example, uh, in part A, we calculated the values of both funds, right? So value of firm will be 236 for Bentley plus 206,000 for rows. Add them up and we will have 442,000 dollars similarly for equity we have calculated equity for Bentley here that is 115,500 plus we have calculated the value of the rose form which is an all equity form therefore all of this value will go to equity and total value of equity will be 321,500 next is debt so here uh, we have calculated value of debt for Bentley and Rolls is an all equity firm, therefore, it has only zero debt, so the total debt will be 120,500 dollars. Next. Uh, D part. What would be the value of merged company? What would be the value of the merged company's debt and equity? To calculate the value of merged company, uh, we have to calculate the value of firm in each state. Uh, so, in the boom state, the value of the merged firm will be. 550,000 while in the recession state the merge fund will have value of 190,000 we will just multiply them with their respective probabilities and then add them up to calculate the overall value of fund
so the value of form will be 442,000 so now we have to calculate the value of debt and the value of equity let's start with the value of equity So in the boom state, the value of firm is <coughs> two ninety thousand for Bentley and two hundred and sixty five thousand for. For rolls, therefore, total value is five hundred and twenty thousand. Out of which, there is debt of one hundred and twenty-five thousand, and the remaining value will be four hundred and twenty-five thousand, which has probability of seventy percent. Similarly, in the recession, the total value is 190, out of which 125,000 is debt and uh, deducting 125,000 from 190 will give us 65,000 which has 30% probability of happening this will be 195,000 plus 200 97,500 adding both of these will take us to 400 Adding both of these will give us three hundred seventeen thousand dollars. This is the value of equity, and the value of equity in both states, uh, the value of firm is higher than the value of debt. Therefore, the value of debt will be $125,000. Now, oh, let's see the part E. Is there a transfer of wealth in this case and why? Uh, to see the transfer of wealth, we have to see the values we have calculated before uh, the value uh, the combined equity value before the merger was 321,500 dollars it is the combined equity value before merger While after merger, the combined equity value is only three hundred and seventeen thousand. 
so if we will uh, subtract both of these we will have 4500 dollars which is loss to equity holders similarly if we see the value of debt before merger it was 120,500 while after merger its value is 125,000 and this 4500 is again to the bondholders so loss of shareholders some wealth like $4,500 shifted from shareholders to bondholders. Part F. Suppose that the face value of Bentley debt is $90,000. Would is this affect the transfer of wealth? So before, the face value of debt was $125,000. And here, in the recession case, the firm was going into default and after the merger uh, in the recession case the value of the firm was 190 therefore there was no chance of defaults because the bondholders could uh, could get their 125,000 after the merger but before the merger they were not able to collect it so if we decrease the debt burden to 90,000 then in this case even before the mergers the bondholders could get their all the money back similarly after the mergers they can get all of their money therefore uh, there is no increased insurance to them right because they were already secured they uh, there was no situation of default they were not losing anything before the mergers and they are not losing anything after the merger either so in that case uh, there will not be any transfer of wealth because the wealth of the bondholders will stay the same in both cases so there is no co-insurance effect in this case the co-insurance effect only existed uh, when there is a situation of default and in the default the bondholders cannot get all of their money back like, like the case here right so in the recession if the fund goes bankrupt the bondholders could get only one hundred and ten thousand dollars instead of their original money which is one hundred and twenty five thousand so if we decrease the face value of debt to ninety thousand only then even in the recession case if the firm goes bankrupt the bondholders can still get 100 uh, can still get all of their money back which is 90,000 and the remaining 20,000 will goes to equity holders that is the case before the merger now the firm merged the debt is still 90,000 and if the firm goes bankrupt the lenders can still get 90,000 so in both cases the wealth of lenders is same so there is no transfer of wealth no coinsurance effect 